Hello everyone, welcome back, let's see what we are going to create today. You can get, free project file from the link in description. Only subscribed users can download this. As you can see, we just created a background, with a gradient, and a logo pre-composed. Now we add CC Lens effects, on logo layer. Go to effects and presets, type CC Lens. Apply it on layer. Now we change the value of convergence, to minus 200. Also change the size value to 0. Now we add keyframe of size, add new keyframe on 20 seconds, go forward approx 40 seconds, change value to 15. Press U to open keyframe setting, go forward approx 1 seconds 10 milliseconds, now change size value to 8, again go forward approx 1 seconds 20 milliseconds, change value to 23. Again go forward approx 2 seconds, now change size value to 10, again go forward approx, change value to 50. Now our animation look like this. Now select all keyframes. Right click on it go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now go to graph editor and if your graph editor does not look like this, then right click and select edit speed graph not value graph. Now change the curve something like that. Now our animation look like this. Now duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D. Now we cut the previous layer by pressing ALT brackets. We also adjust the layer. Select the layer, go to effects and presets, type CC pixel poly, apply the effect on layer. Now we change force value to 86, we also adjust the other setting. Now we add another effects on it, go to effects and presets, type simple choker. Now we add first choke mat keyframe, and change value to 12. Then go forward and, again change choke mat value to approx 42. Please give me 5 likes on this video to inspire me to create more videos. Now select both keyframe. Right click on it select easy ease. Now duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D. Now we turn off the choker effect. We also change some setting of CC pixel poly effect. Please like this video and subscribe my channel. Press bell icon for latest videos. You can adjust the layers, according to your situation, but in my case, we adjust like that. Now we add start time keyframe. Press U to open keyframe setting. Then go forward, and change the value something like that. Now create a pre-compose, of all logo layers, by pressing Ctrl Shift C, we call it logo animation. Now create a new composition, we call it reflection, make sure your background color is black.
Now create a new solid layer. We call it background. Now add fill effects on it. Change fill color to white. Again go to effects and presets, type Vantain blinds. Press U to open keyframes setting, and delete transition completion. Now we change transition value to 29%, then we change direction to minus 55 degree. We also change width to 88. Now duplicate the effect by pressing Ctrl D. We change direction to minus 116 degree. Then change transition value to 13%. We also change width to 45. Now we insert the reflection composition. Now go to effects and presets, type turbulent displace effects. We also change some setting of this effect. Now we add CC lens effects. Now we change convergence value to minus 200. And size value to 16. Now we add linear wipe effect. Press U, and delete the keyframes. Now we change some setting. Please give me 5 likes on this video to inspire me to create more videos. Now select logo composition, and bring it to up, click on toggle switch and mode, or press F4. Now change matte to alpha matte. Now we duplicate the logo animation composition and bring it to down. Select the reflection layer, and press T. Now we decrease the opacity. Please do not forget, you can get the free project file, from the link provided in the description. Only subscribers can download it. Now we add text, go to toolbar and select typing tool, we type royalties creation. Make sure your text align is center. Bring your text layer to down, and turn on 3D layer. Now we add keyframe of Y rotation with 90 degree. Go forward and change value to 0 degree. Now we add scale and opacity. Now add first scale keyframe. Then go backward. And decrease the value. Now add first top catty keyframe. Then go backward. Decrease the value to 0%. Now we add shadow, duplicate the logo composition, and bring it to down. Now we add scale, then we adjust the shadow size and place. Go to effects and preset, and type fast box blur. Now increase the blur radius value. Now we add opacity, and change opacity value something like that. I hope this tutorial help you to make your own logo animation. Please subscribe us for more amazing video. If you have any special request then please comment. We will meet on next tutorial, goodbye.